Welcome to my channel today as we discuss very interesting topic that is so dear to me because I have enjoyed it over and over and over. That is how to start an offline business without money. I have built multi-million Naira because I'm an African and Nigerian. I have built multi-million Naira companies or businesses without offline business, without a dime, without having the money. So it is a skill. However, the principle of doing it in Africa is the same principle that works in Asia, in America, in Europe. So the principle of doing business remains the same with little or little slight differences depending on the cost um, on the government regulation and other uh, things. However, as I said, the principles remain the same. So the topic today is how to start an offline business without money. I will suggest you click the notification button, subscribe, be part of my group, let's share or let me reveal the idea or the secrets of building a successful offline business without investing a dime. Now we are talking about launching successful online business. Whether you are dreaming of being your own boss or you just need an extra cash, this video is packed with actionable steps, yes, to get you started, yes. So please grab your notebook to unleash your inner hustle or hustler that would definitely make you a successful offline business owner. What is the first thing to do once you want to go into a business you don't have money? I mean zero dollar investment. The first thing you do is to identify your niche. What area of business will you want to do? Identifying your niche, you can look at your passion, think about your hobbies, your interests. If you're a baking enthusiast, you can sell homemade treats at local farmers markets. The key here is to find something you are passionate about that you can do without much stress. However, if you don't have a special passion about everything, then trend is another thing to look at. What is it that is trending and that has future? So that will give you an idea, the area of business you want to specialize you want to be part of it so the first step is pick a niche pick a niche today i run a very big successful solar accessories selling company i started with nothing but all i did is one of the things or all i did is the things i'm going to reveal to you in this video we have a lot of things a lot i'm into a lot of businesses that offline business that I started without money or with zero capital. Now, after choosing your niche, after making up your mind on area you want to specialize, the next thing is to craft a business plan. No matter how the business, no matter you don't, even if there is no money, you need a roadmap. Roadmap is crucial. In your business plan, you have to identify your target audience, who you are selling to, your competitive ad advantage or your unique selling point. What makes you stand up, stand out? Your strategy, your pricing. You need to cover comprehensively how the business will run on a paper. That is what we call the business plan. You will use it with time. Now, after getting those things comprehensively, on the paper, that is your business plan. The next thing is to get a business model. Now, this business model entails, even if it's your passion or the trend 
or any business you find yourself you will love doing, you need to be perfect in it. If not perfect, near perfect. If not near perfect, you need to have a very advanced knowledge about that business. And the fastest way to do that is to get a one-on-one -on -one mentor with someone who is in the business. If you don't get that, there are free resources online. Go to YouTube, go to Allison.com. There are a lot of courses. In fact, virtually any profession or niche in the world that you will have the videos or lessons to study. That means to, you must be knowledgeable. That is modeling. So you, you need to either model someone who is willing to share one-on-one -on -one knowledge to you, to you or you go into study. Use the available resources to become proficient in that area. Now, once you are done, you are good to go. That means you can defend your business plan you can defend the knowledge. You can prove you know it. The next thing is fundraising. During my time, fundraising was difficult for one reason. But today, fundraising has become so easy. It's the fastest thing to do with the advent of the internet. Please, if you're enjoying this video, subscribe, share, be part of my channel, comment, let us progress. So fundraising, there are two ways to raise funds today. Very, very easy the online and the offline method. Now let's discuss the online method. The online method is you just create a YouTube video or you create a YouTube channel or find other social media, Facebook and other things, Facebook, X, other social media platform and dedicate yourself to providing of information, providing of quality information to your potential clients. Or people that may patronize you with time. The only thing there is that you must be consistent. Let me tell you, 90 days is okay for you. 90 days. That's when you are using when you are using social media or YouTube to promote or to want to showcase what you can do. Yes. 90 days of consistency of providing valuable information will attract people that want to get your services, that want to buy from you. Hope that is making clear. That means if you're a service provider, you must have a social media where you teach people the problems they have and how you can solve it or how they can solve it. Now, it is natural that once you show someone that you have a solution to his problem, the next thing is to hire you. So you can use the online platforms. YouTube, as you are watching this, people will call you, people will ask questions, people want your services, your knowledge towards solving their problem. And that will mean making money from you because there will be a exchange of knowledge with money. Now, after the online, the next thing is looking offline now. That is getting investors, searching for investors, neighborhood, your worship area, search for investors. We have people that they have the money, all they need is proof to them you can do this. Prove to them that you people can partner and scale through. The money will be there for you to run the business. However, you must uphold the core principles of business, integrity. Yes. Once you want to approach investors, ensure you have open mind and you have the mind of having win-win with whoever you meet along the line. So with that, you have comfortable investors. That's how to raise money off line. I've done that severally. People want to know who know how to do things and they will invest as long as you give them a good return, which is a win-win. Then after that, no matter the money you could be able to realize, no matter the amount an investor is ready to give, start small. Don't be everything for anyone. Begin with limited product range or service. Focus on delivering exceptional customer service. In fact, the success of any business, offline business, online business, depends on the customer satisfaction. So you have to build a positive reputation and encourage repeat business. That is the basics. No matter the amount of money available to you, start small. So when the business starts gaining traction, the customers are there. Now you can gradually expand your offerings or take more clients. Remember, slow and steady 
wins the race. The last, or not the last, very essential point, embrace the hustle, is not going to be easy. It's, it requires dedication, hard work. Be prepared to wear multiple hats, from marketing manager to delivering person, but hey, that's the beauty of being your own boss. Exactly. That's the beauty of being your own boss. So it's going to be a hustle. Embrace it. It's not going to be easy. Remember, you are starting on a zero capital. So but all these steps will ensure you have a well-developed offline business in no distant time. Please subscribe. Share if you are enjoying my, enjoying my video. Be part of my team. Conclusion. Here you have all it takes. Yes. With little creativity, resourcefulness, and a whole lot of hustle, you can launch your dream offline business without breaking the bank. Remember, success takes time. It's not going to be easy. So you have to be patient, stay focused, and keep delivering values to your customers. I have this last advice for you. No matter the effort you put, no matter your plan, do not be emotionally attached to any business you are doing. Do not be emotionally attached because there will be failures. There will be a lot of nay along the way. There will be a lot of disappointment from people. However, those failures, those disappointments are steps to greatness into the business. They are not, so failure is not direct opposite of success. Rather, it's a step to success. So once you fail, to, because you are not emotionally, emotionally attached to your business, you will stand up with force and conquer. Thank you for watching. Once more, please subscribe to my channel. Be part of my channel. Click on the notification button so that we can proceed with our next video. You can be the first person to see the video when I make it. Thank you for watching.